Welcome back to Sci-Fi Insights. In today's video, I want to talk about an exciting new collaboration between NASA and DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. They've announced a partnership to develop nuclear-powered rockets for future crewed missions to Mars. This is big news. Nuclear propulsion could be a total game changer for deep space exploration. The program they're working on is called DRACO, which stands for Demonstration Rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations. The goal is to have DRACO launched by 2027 on their first test flight. So why is NASA so interested in nuclear rockets? Well, the main benefit is efficiency. Nuclear propulsion can provide twice as much thrust from the same amount of propellant compared to traditional chemical rockets. That means the rocket can carry more supplies, equipment, and scientific instruments to Mars, or it can simply get there faster. Another big advantage is reduced launch weight. More efficiency means you need less fuel, so the rocket weighs less at liftoff. That makes launching easier and cheaper. The high efficiency also provides more electrical power for systems during the mission. Now, NASA has researched nuclear propulsion for decades, but they could never quite get past some of the more technical challenges. That's where their new partner, DARPA, comes in. DARPA is known for taking on ambitious technological projects like self-driving cars, robotics, and the early internet. Their specialty is bridging the gap between blue sky research and practical applications. For this partnership, Lockheed Martin will be the prime contractor, actually building the Draco rocket. NASA Space Technology Mission Directorate will manage and oversee the program, and BWX Technologies will design and build the nuclear fission reactor that powers the rocket engine. So how does nuclear rocket engine work? Well, it's conceptually similar to a traditional rocket engine, except instead of burning chemical propellants, it uses heat from nuclear reaction to accelerate propellant, and usually that propellant is hydrogen. Uranium atoms are split in a compact fission reactor producing enormous amounts of heat. That thermal energy gets transferred to the hydrogen propellant, which expands and blasts out the nozzle, providing thrust. The engine tested in NASA's previous nuclear programs used a solid uranium core, but Draco will test out a new liquid uranium reactor design. The liquid form allows the uranium atoms to move closer together for more efficient fission reactions and improved thrust. Draco will use this engine in a demonstration flight, putting a spacecraft into orbit around the moon before eventually attempting a full-scale Mars mission. With more testing and development, NASA believes nuclear engines could be ready to send astronauts to Mars by the late 2030s or even early 2040s. So what are some challenges still facing nuclear rocket development? Well, safety is still a concern whenever you're dealing with splitting atoms. Rocket launches can sometimes fail, so there's a risk of radioactive material ending up in the wrong places. Engineers have to design shields and containment systems to protect payloads and prevent radiation exposure. And exhaust from nuclear reaction retains some residual radioactivity that could impact the local environment if not properly mitigated. There are also concerns about nuclear proliferation. Some worry that the technology could spread beyond space exploration and be used for military purposes. Countries like Russia, China, and North Korea are already developing their own nuclear rocket tech. And finally, cost is a hurdle. Developing this system will require billions of dollars in funding over the next decade for R&D and testing. With NASA's limited space budget, they have to make the case that nuclear propulsion is worth the investment compared to other programs. But the consensus seems to be that the reward is worth the risk. Getting astronauts to Mars faster with more safety margins would be an amazing achievement. And the technology could eventually facilitate routine trips to the moon, Mars, and beyond. What do you think? Excited about the prospects of nuclear rockets or skeptical of the challenges? Make a comment. Let me know. For some additional context, NASA first started researching nuclear propulsion technology back in the 1950s under the Rover and Nerva program. They conducted engine tests, but never actually launched any nuclear rockets to space before the programs were canceled. Eventually, interest waned due to high cost and lower urgency after the moon landings. There just wasn't a compelling mission that justified continued nuclear rocket development. The plan to send humans to Mars sort of changes that equation. With today's chemical rocket technology, a round-trip Mars mission would take over two years, but nuclear propulsion could cut that down to just nine months. Reducing transit time is incredibly important for the crew's safety. They're less exposed to deep space radiation and other hazards, and they need less supplies, making the spacecraft lighter and cheaper to launch from Earth. Nuclear rockets aren't the only advanced propulsion idea being pursued. 
NASA is also re researching plasma engines, solar sails, and even antimatter engines, among other technologies. Each approach has different advantages and disadvantages. At this point, nuclear thermal propulsion appears to be the most achievable option, but it's exciting to imagine many of these concepts eventually being used together to open up our solar system. Well, we've covered a lot today about this groundbreaking new nuclear rocket program. To quickly recap, NASA and DARPA are partnering on DRACO to develop nuclear thermal propulsion. This technology could enable faster crew trips to Mars by the late 2030s. Key benefits include much greater efficiency and reduced launch weight. Designing a safe, reliable engine is still a major technical challenge, and questions remain around proliferation and licensing the technology along with cost. Let me know your thoughts on this ambitious initiative. Do you think it's wise for NASA and DARPA to invest in nuclear propulsion, or should they focus efforts elsewhere? Which other propulsion methods seem most promising to you? Looking ahead, I plan some follow-up videos tracking Draco's progress and digging deeper into the history of nuclear rocketry. We might also compare it to other propulsion systems like ion engines. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more informative videos. Thank you.